Today, we're looking at could, can, and be able to, to talk about ability in the past, the present, and the future. In the present time, now, we use can and can't to talk about things we can or can't do generally. For example, he can ski or she can't swim. In the past, we use could and couldn't. For example, Susan could read when she was three years old. Or John couldn't ride a bike until he was five. When I was young, I could run 100 meters in 12 seconds. Now it takes me 10 minutes. When we talk about someone's ability to do something in the future, we use will be able to. For example, the baby will be able to talk soon. Have a look at these sentences about the past, the present and the future and see if you can fill in the missing words. Last year, Anne speak only a little French. What's the missing word? Last year, Anne could speak only a little French. Now, Anne speak French quite well. What's the missing word? Now, Anne can speak French quite well. In a few years' time, Anne speak French fluently. What are the missing words? In the future, Anne will be able to speak French fluently. English grammar, can, could, and will be able to. Easy peasy with Uncle Jeff's help. Thanks for watching. See you next time.